Yeah. Um, this one I'm gonna grab last because I got a camera. I got sure. Camera. Get all of our gear and get it loaded up. See if we can make it out of here. Yeah, this is co-pilot Ted McCard reporting in for duty. Yeah, if Brian passes out, I'll have to take the wheel, Tim. I've been taking my heart medication right now. <laughs> We're okay for a few hours. Now, Adam, our guide, he says, load your packs, boys. We're going to spike camp tonight. All right, now we gotta match the road man. Funny. You loaded there, guy? Overloaded. I am excited to be leaving camp. First day. Takes a goat to hunt a goat. Getting up where we can see. Luckily it's cleared off, so get a little vantage point up here, huh? We always creep up and just stop there and take a look because there's a lot of black geese, even goats on the ridge up there from here. Awesome. Pull our grandpons, it's pretty mild after this. Okay. Flat spot, drain a swamp, take a tent. Morning, Carter. Good morning, Tim. It's beautiful, eh? It's, I hate to use the word, but it's kind of epic. Stunning. It's stunning, that's a better word, yeah. Pretty spot to kill a bear or a goat, huh? It's remarkable. It's hard not to dislike a caught just daydreaming and look at all the uh, views. It's absolutely beautiful.
there. There's a bear there, a bear there, and three goats up there. But this Billy looks like one to go after. He's in a good spot if he stays there. Just stood up, turned around, and laid back down. That's a good spot. We can get there with Diane. Goat over here with no horns. Look like a fairly aged goat, but just no horns. We're just easing around. A little aguacita from the uh, community pool. Rock farming. Yeah, they're good ones. These guys said it was too small. They're pretty big. Small. Small. Uh, yeah, hold this guy off. Yeah, I was ready to just like fling there. He's had to hold me back. working over to where we found that big billy last night. We haven't seen him yet this morning, but there's a bunch of others bedded in. Recap here. Spin off. Day three. I guess it is. Woke up this morning to 
dumping rain and wind. So we got an extra hour hanging out in the tent. We come up with the top. Yesterday we had a good Billy over here that Tim has got his name on. But we can't locate him. So we're gonna it's actually pretty awesome. Some of this rock is dry. Maybe just because the wind and stopped rain. We got the top. So we're uh, right in that spot where that bear was yesterday. So you gotta get get bear out of your mind. No bears. Goats only. So we're gonna slip up up here. The guy is saying we're gonna kind of duck around this knob. Like that Billy's likely he's like right over the top. So Jim's gonna put the hammer in about I had just turned off my GoPro to reset everything. That was amazing. He's right there. He took a bit of a fall. We'll go down there, but if he knocked a horn loose, I think we'll find it. He died fast. Yeah. That's, that's money. nice. He was right on that ridge there when you hit him. Yeah. So we can rearrange it. Wow. wow. Fuck. <laughs> I can't believe I turned off the button. I filmed all everything, sneaking up to there, and then I like took yeah, it off and made sure it was shot. running. I turn it off and then you're like, there's there, someone right there. Because I was like, man, that cliff is too steep to have uh, misinterpreted that terrain. That, I'm just glad we put a good shot on him. That was an incredible shot. I can see it coming out the shoulder there and it was a clean through. Yeah, he, he says he can, he, says he saw the arrow down there, so. Yeah. Should we get the smoke right from there, straight through him. It must have turned a little angle when he bailed off the cliff because it's right there. He was perfect quartering away. I'm not going over there without my crampons though to get No, it. let's go get the boys. We'll keep this location in our mind and then we'll have to get down somehow on the other side and below him. I'm just bummed that I didn't push the record because that was amazing. I just popped up over the thing and he stopped just perfect. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'll never, I'll never lose it out of my mind, but I wish I had it on film. He looked like he had big faces, so I think he's a good goat. You know what? He's dead. There's no... We're going to have to ground check him now, so sorry. <laughs> Thanks again. I appreciate you. Always a pleasure. Appreciate that was, you. That was a rush for me, too. Oh, that was great. I think he's a good sign goat by his turn. I think he's a good goat. When I looked at him, I was like, yeah, I, I want to shoot that goat. Yeah, he didn't have that little fuzzy head like the younger ones yeah. get, you know? I mean, so what? It's, he is what it is. Safety back on. Oh my gosh. 
Now I gotta get candles on film or else I'm doomed for this trip. You're never gonna, you're never gonna let yourself move that. No, because you, you'll watch it. I sneak up and you launch down. And it was before you told me that there was one up there. I went click, took everything off, it's getting ready. And then you're like, oh, there's one right there. And I didn't have anything to do. We're just gonna try to walk up to the goat. I can see my arrow laying up there. Notice this? I thought I did. Oh, brother, man! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, no, I'm bad. serious. It's real. Oh my gosh, dude! I came back like all like, you know, I just went <laughs> over there and got it done. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. I thought I saw an arrow missing, but I was like, I couldn't tell. That's a good goat. number card. No number needed. Just you're in the Zen zone. That's how the Jedi do it. They just just like oh, you're ready for the struggle stick now. Look at his hooves. I know. Those are nice. Those are nice. He's got to be sore. That he, foot's got to be sore. He earned it, man. That thing is unreal. Six and a half or seven now. Yeah. Which is, I'm gonna go ten. Ten is an real old one. He's just a really nice goat. It's beautiful. He's everything I wanted. Everything I wanted. <laughs> Are you kidding? Everything you could hope for. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is just a gnarly nice. toe fungus. That's a little worse than normal. Uh, it's a fungus, eh? Don't uh, rub that on your fingernails. It's Look at that, like it's all munched out. Oh, they just kind of, they get like this, it's kind of normal looking. But this thing here, I don't know what he tripped on, but he's done it's some damage there. That's why he just kind of hung out here on the patio. He's a big one. going on with focus here. This camera's seen, seen better weather. Definitely seen better weather. But work is starting and the boys are gonna do it. I'm gonna watch. Just kidding. <laughs> Got him. Made a good shot. Quartering in. Just behind his shoulder. Came out just at the tip of his shoulder there. So super happy, happy to. Have him. Wes measured him out, but I'm not going to tell you what he measured him out at because it doesn't matter. But it's pretty dang awesome. Whew. Something funky about my lens here. That's how you know when you shot a big billy is well hung. Nothing satisfying like holding onto those bad boys. That's right. And I'm really being lazy on this. Weird, huh? 
it feels awkward. <laughs> goat. Yeah. I don't even know if that thing was on. Battery died. I struggle with the cameras. When I get in hunt mode, I'm just... I don't know. I, I've lost so many animals fussing with the cameras that the last few years I've kind of just said, screw it. I'd rather hunt. And my footage has really suffered. But... a lot higher. Right. Mr. Billy. Bow the gang. The rain. Cape and the horns and these guys all have the meat. Nice to have four guys in camp. Kendall's next. Go time. Like a swimmer. It's cold. Okay. Strategizing for the next one. Get ready. I hope you get your big balls on for that one. Those goats would be a challenge. There, three over here. It's not as far as it looks. Let's go for a bit far. How'd your kids get to the top so fast? Shortcut. Dang. How awesome is that? 
I thought he hit him far back. I thought so too, but it might have been angled. Did you hear that thing walloping? You can hear that thing. Yeah. Bear killers. My first bear ever. What a place to take it to. Um, what a good day too. Tim got his goat. I get my first bear. How far were you guys? 10 yards? Beautiful hide, huh? What an experience. I was so freaking cold coming back. I was like, I even thought to myself, we see something, there's no way. My hands were just like frigid, but oh, that was too good. We saw that berry yesterday. She was camp. That whole hillside is like blueberry and mecca. Mm -hmm. He's a fatty, fat fatty. Did you uh, get your arrow? Yeah. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. It's not a huge, huge bear, but I'm like wicked, wicked still. You're a big man. What are you talking about? Look at that thing. It's too perfect. It's like a giant from here, Kendall. I sure hope we have audio on this thing because my, my camera just <laughs> hope it's just the creek noise. There you go, Burnworth. <laughs> Jim Burnworth. He does that all the time. He does. We gotta go over that saddle, down and around to camp. Up this crap first. I think that's where we went up. No, no, no. We went up over here, I think. Climb that. That little, little hairball. Got a bear and a billy goat, four men. I'm not trying to say anyway. Thank you, record boys. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I'd like to be in my tent by dark. I don't want to have to turn on this headlamp. Adam said he's going to be first person to turn on the headlamp gets kicked in the balls. <laughs> he's a mind reader. I didn't actually say that. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself there, killer? When you kill multiple things, it gets heavy, but it's, this place is unbelievable. The whole experience is awesome. You did that wrong. You're supposed to drape the cape over. Over the face, So yeah. it looks all cool for photos, like this. I'm not that cool. Tim's cool. We don't do this for pictures. You got fans to like live up for. I didn't do that. No, that's just the way it rode. I know. Just the way it worked out. If you have a knack for some adventure and pushing your body and going to some of the most rad places on the planet, you need to do this thing. I don't care how much you think it costs, there's, it's worth the sacrifice. <laughs>